time. Go fetch! <laughs> fetch, I tell you. <sighs> fetch means you run and fetch like this. Look here, it's easy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We have contact! <sighs> so good to know that we're not alone in the universe.
the wrong screwdriver. Hiding with 
within this thing.
Masha's Spooky Stories. Today, I'm going to tell you a terrible story about a boy who wanted to be kidnapped by aliens from outer space. This boy loved two things most of all. Books, and of course, candy. And the boy didn't like to read children's books about Baba Yaga or real serious books. He'd prefer books about aliens from outer space, extraterrestrial intelligence, and other science fiction stories about humanoids. He'd read them at night under a blanket because aliens are watching us from a far, far away. And they always want to steal someone who is out of place. Just a blanket can protect you from aliens. It's been checked. Never ever has a humanoid found a child that was hidden under a blanket. But one night, when it was very dark, the boy felt an extraterrestrial was going to find him. In the darkness, just outside the blanket, came a heart-wrenching crunch, like the crunch of a shower curtain. And then the boy heard ominous steps. Then he heard such a horrible wheezing, his heart jumped out of his skin and he hid under the pillow. The boy became afraid of just being terrified. He looked down from under the blanket and bam! He didn't see anyone. It was all pitch dark. And then suddenly, out of the darkness, a terrible ray of light struck. The boy wanted to scream, but he couldn't, because right in front of him, a light of ray appeared. And then he saw a scary, inhuman hedgehog. Although, how terrifying is that? It's just a little hedgehog. It smelled candy, got into the house, climbed up the nightstand, and stepped on the lamp switch. So when the light lit up, the hedgehog was so scared. When the light lit up, the hedgehog forgot all about the candy. The boy was very happy that the hedgehog wasn't an extraterrestrial, but a local, and they became friends. The boy put the hedgehog in a washing machine, then launched him in the rocket, and the hedgehog loved all of it. A hedgehog enjoys any experiment, especially if you give it some candy afterwards. But then one dark, dark night, the hedgehog suddenly disappeared. The boy knew what happened. Of course, those humanoids were just waiting to steal the hedgehog and had already prepared the ship for an interstellar travel. And along with the hedgehog, the extraterrestrial took all the candy in the house. The boy overcame his fear and ran to save the hedgehog and the candy from the aliens. Suddenly, he saw something right in front of the house, in the sandbox, on the playground, was a flying saucer. Two green aliens, the hedgehog, and a bag full of candy. Then even worse, he couldn't believe his eyes. The hedgehog took off its hedgehog suit, and it turned out that he wasn't a hedgehog at all, but a humanoid, just like the others. The boy cried out in surprise that something unexpected happened. The aliens were so terrified they jumped into their saucer and flew away, but then immediately returned. They took the candy, got frightened again, and flew away. Now the boy realized it wasn't worth being afraid. After all, aliens are simply small green humanoids who love candy. Where could they get candy in space? So the poor things fly to us for candies. From then on, every evening, the boy always puts candy on the windowsill. If by chance the aliens come while he's sleeping, 
they have a treat.
need to be cooled down now. <laughs> Up We're just chilling out in here. Let's look for cartoons to pick. I will press this microphone. 